Hi, it's Katrina. From the smallest living primate to the tiniest turtle, if you don't look closely, you just might mistake these fully grown animals for babies. Here are nine of the smallest animals ever. Number nine, the pygmy rabbit. The pygmy rabbit is the smallest rabbit in the world. They are native only to the Great Basin area of the United States and are extremely rare since they are hunted by everything and are limited to where they can live in the winter based on the type of grass that they eat. They usually live about three to five years but are often eaten before they can reach their full lifespan. Bunnies in the wild rarely die of old age. They usually only weigh around one pound with females growing slightly larger than males. How can you identify a pygmy rabbit? Well, they're small for one and essentially look like a fluffy baby bunny. It also doesn't have any white fur on its tail, has short ears, small hind legs, and is usually gray. One subspecies is listed by the U.S. federal government as an endangered species. Fun fact, they are one of only two kinds of rabbits that dig their own burrows in North America. Most rabbits use burrows made by other creatures. Number 8. The Etruscan Shrew The Etruscan Shrew goes by several aliases, including the Etruscan Pygmy Shrew and White-Toothed Pygmy Shrew. It's the smallest known mammal in the world by mass and only grows to about 4 centimeters long, just a bit larger than the average bumblebee. Surprisingly, however, the Etruscan shrew's brain is largest in ratio to its body size compared to all other animals, including humans. This big-brained miniature rodent is also a surprisingly big eater, consuming between one and a half and twice its body size daily, probably to support all the energy its brain is using. Plus, they use up a lot of energy keeping themselves warm. They are also extremely fast and effective predators, often killing crickets that are as big as they are. Etruscan shrews can be found mostly in warm, damp climates between 10 and 30 degrees north latitude in places such as Malaysia, North Africa, Europe, and the Maltese Islands. They're uncommon and even endangered in some countries, but are widespread and not considered threatened overall. Relatively little is known about the Etruscan shrew, no pun intended. They go into frequent but short periods of hiding that typically last no longer than a half hour at a time. And when they're not hiding, they're moving. They usually live alone except during mating periods, and if you scare them, they can drop dead. And now for number 7, but first, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back! If you are new here, welcome, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number 7, the Pygmy Marmoset. The Pygmy Marmoset is the world's smallest monkey and the second smallest primate on Earth. Do you know what the smallest primate in the world is? Leave your guess in the comments below. The answer is coming up. This tiny monkey species can fit in the palm of your hand and weighs about the same as a stick of butter. They are only about 5 to 6 inches long, including the tail. Native to the rainforests of the western Amazon basin in South America, it can be found in Peru, Ecuador, Bolivia, Brazil, and Colombia. These tiny monkeys are gummivores, meaning they feed primarily on the gums and saps of trees. They travel in troops of two to nine members, usually consisting of two parents and up to four litters of their offspring, and an occasional other random adult or two. Like the pygmy rabbit, due to its uniqueness from other marmoset species, the pygmy marmoset is classified according to its own genus. Their tail is longer than their body, and while they can't use it to grab onto things, it helps them keep their balance. You can actually have pygmy marmosets as pets, but it doesn't mean that you should. At least in the United States, they are only allowed in a few states, but they need a very special environment to thrive, and if they are kept in a small space with not enough stimulation, they can get very aggressive and depressed. Number 6. The Bee Hummingbird Like the Etruscan shrew, the bee hummingbird is known by several names, including the zun zuncito, after the sound their wings make in Spanish, you know, zun zun. It's the world's smallest bird and the world's smallest warm-blooded vertebrate. They are native to Cuba and can be found on the country's second largest island, Isla de la Juventud, or Isle of Youth. However, even there they are a bit elusive and hard to spot since they are so small. They often have to compete with many insects for food like hawk moths and bees. These birds intimidate them by darting around and can actually be aggressive for their tiny size. It has a plump round appearance compared to other species of hummingbirds, which tend to be more slender. These colorful little birds look like small glistening gems. They beat their wings 200 times in a second, whereas most hummingbirds beat their wings about 80 times a second. Number 5. The Slender Blind Snake While non-venomous, the next animal on this list isn't exactly snuggly. Slender blind snakes, also known as the worm snake or the thread snake, are tiny snakes with very smooth scales. 
A total of 87 species of slender blind snakes are thought to exist all over the world. These pink, brown, and sometimes black reptiles are so tiny, they basically look like earthworms. Like I said, not exactly as adorable as a pygmy marmoset, but it's not its fault. Their general body structure and scale pattern give them a segmented appearance, like an earthworm. Slender blind snakes aren't remarkable for much. In fact, their name was inspired by the fact that their eyes are essentially useless. They are the only snakes that have teeth on the lower jaw, but none on the upper jaw. Some species are even missing the top of their skull. These plain creatures are burrowers, emerging only when they get flooded out by rain. They feed primarily on ant and termite larvae. I mean, they're so small, what else would they eat? Number 4. The Speckled Padloper Tortoise The Speckled Padloper Tortoise is the world's smallest turtle, and it sure packs a whole lot of cuteness into a tiny little package. Like some of the other species on this list, females are slightly larger than males, measuring up to 4 inches long. They only weigh about 100 to 165 grams, also about the same as a stick of butter. The speckled padloper can be found mainly in an arid region of western South Africa called Little Namaqualand. It forages for succulent plants that grow between the rocks, and its small size helps them hide from predators. They are mostly active during the early mornings of autumn and spring. Padloper means trail walker, and it refers to the skinny trails and paths that it leaves behind. Thanks once again to human interference, the speckled padloper is considered a threatened species. Although it's illegal to trade the tortoise, many are taken from their natural habitat and sold in the black market for the illegal pet trade. Besides poaching, they have to worry about habitat destruction and road traffic. Domestic species such as dogs and pigs are also a threat to this tortoise. Number 3. The Pado Cypress the Pado cypress is a genus encompassing the world's smallest fish, which measure just 7.9 millimeters in length. It's so small you can see it with the naked eye, but you would probably need a magnifying glass to get a detailed look. Pado cypress resides in the swamps and streams of the Southeast Asian islands known as Bintan, Borneo, and Sumatra. While they may not seem like much, they are major players in the food chain. These minuscule swimmers weren't discovered until the mid-1990s. Unlike most adult fish, it has a tiny transparent body that lacks a bony skull structure around its brain. It also retains some features of its larva stage that usually disappear when a fish reaches adulthood. The Pado cypress has the distinction of being the second smallest known vertebrate in the entire world, coming in place only behind a frog known as Pado phryne amaunisis, which was discovered in 2009 in Papua New Guinea, and it doesn't even have a formal name yet. Unfortunately, like many other species on today's list, the Pado cypress is no stranger to habitat loss at the hands of human beings, especially because of its small range and specialized habitat. Drainage of peat swamps along with fires have already led to the disappearance of several populations of this vulnerable creature, which can even survive in mud puddles. We have no idea what influence this may have on the rest of the food chain. Number 2. Kitty's Hognosed Bat I'm not even going to try pronouncing this scientific name of the kitty's hognosed bat, also nicknamed the bumblebee bat, which hails from Thailand and Burma. Measuring only 1.1 to 1.6 inches long, the bumblebee bat is the world's smallest bat. Both of its common names are appropriate since it has a distinctive pig-like snout and is small like a bumblebee, just like the hummingbird I mentioned before. It lives along rivers and limestone caves along with anywhere from 10 to 500 of its peers. An average colony consists of around 100 bats. They're most active at dawn and dusk and use echolocation to navigate their flight. Despite very little being known about these fascinating flying mammals, the general consensus among scientists is that they're at risk of extinction. Limestone extraction is a huge threat as it destroys their habitat. There are no fossil records anywhere of the world's smallest bat, which makes it hard to understand their evolutionary process. They were discovered in the 1970s, and there is a lot we don't know about them. Number 1. Madame Bertha's Mouse Lemur Like I mentioned before, the pygmy marmoset is the world's second smallest primate. For those of you who guessed, Madame Bertha's Mouse Lemur, or Bertha's Lemur for short, is number 1. This little guy is less than 100 millimeters long and weighs only 30 grams. Bertha's lemur resides mainly in Karindi Matea National Park, located in western Madagascar. This nocturnal species has very large eyes to help it see at night. It was only recently discovered in 1992 and was only categorized as its own species as recently as the year 2000. Everyone at first confused it with the pygmy lemur. The tiny lemur eats fruit and chameleons and honeydew from larvae. Because of their small stature, Bertha's lemurs are vulnerable to predators, including humans who are degrading its habitat via the illegal logging industry. Deforestation has severely affected them and they are listed as endangered at best. 
While they are cute, scientists advise people to keep bare skin away from them because they can be fierce. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.